On the first day, it rained frogs, serpents, lizards, scorpions, and many venomous beasts of that sort. On the second day, thunder was heard, and lightning flashes mixed with hailstones of marvelous size fell upon the land, which killed almost all men, from the greatest to the least. On the third day, there fell fire, together with stinking smoke from the heavens, which consumed all the rest of men and beasts, and burned up all the cities and castles of those parts. On account of these calamities, that whole province was infected, and it is conjectured that the whole sea coast and all neighboring lands were contaminated from that infection through the fetid breath of the wind blowing southwards from the plague regions. And always, from day to day, more people were infected. And now, by the will of God, it has come to our maritime parts in this fashion, as certain men suspect. For on December 31st, in the year of our Lord, 1348, three galleys, horribly infected and heavily laden with spices and other goods, landed at the port of Genoa after having been forcibly expelled from eastern parts. When the Genoese observed that these sailors and other men were suddenly succumbing without remedy, they were expelled from that port with flaming arrows and diverse engines of war. Because anyone who dared touch them or have any business dealings with them immediately